it. And when we pick her up, we have to, you know, be careful. It's a busy day at the Imhoff household. Six-year-old Regan is getting ready for a sleepover with the special friend she's holding, Pinky. She has Pinky. And she's showing off her latest accomplishment, one that's taken a long time to get down. You got it. Good job. Keep going. It's a challenge and a bit uncomfortable, but never has rolling over felt so good to Regan and looked so good to her mom, Jenny, especially when she thinks back to the first few months of her daughter's life. Ta-da! At her eight-month checkup, you know, we, we talked to Dr. Dan and we're like, you know, she's, you know, they ask you the milestones and, and we said, well, actually, she still hasn't hit those. And not only that, but she's not rolling over anymore. Something wasn't right. She wasn't sure what, but she knew it was something. Her concerns covered by the optimistic attitude that comes so naturally. You're trying to be like optimistic, you know, like, oh, it, it's not my kid. That something else would be explained to Jenny and her husband during a visit to their doctor's office. He told them what the test results revealed. Two weeks after Regan's first birthday, you know, we got the call that, you know, your daughter has spinal muscular atrophy. And on the way home, we're like, we're not even going to look what this SMA thing is. And we both like <laughs> privately went and looked and we're crushed, you know, when we're reading, you know, um, you know, you look at the, the, the statistics at 50% of these, the children will pass away before two. And from that point on, they decided to make each day, every day, a celebration of life, starting with Regan's room. It's gone from a baby's room to a room, well, fit for a princess. I can hardly wait to see it for myself. I am so excited to see this. This is really the prettiest room I've ever seen. This is gorgeous. And as you can see, there's plenty of pinkies to comfort the look of the life-saving equipment on the shelves. A colorful room full of books and fairies, a distraction from the nightly routine that starts outside this room with a shake. You see, nearly all of Regan's meals come from a feeding tube. Your tongue, you know, all that's muscle. And so she, she was starting to lose that ability to um, eat efficiently. There are medicines to give which are meticulously labeled outside her bedroom door. And nary a still night, every two hours, Regan needs to be turned over. It's a routine that's been perfected from repetition. Mama, can you take off my clothes? But there's also yeah. time for fun. You get to go to different sporting events, and she's got to, you know, drop the puck at like an Admirals game and, and go to some Brewers games and, and meet lots of people. And, and oh, let's not forget Regan's favorite, a trip to Disney, where she got to meet some of the people she reads about. But one of her favorite things of all can be found right here at home in the kitchen. She loves to bake, but she gives all the credit for that one to her mom. Mommy's the real baker. <laughs> She makes the best cookies. <laughs>